Hey guys, Ashley with Amari. So a few resources for you guys. We are located in Elizabeth and Highland Park, New Jersey, and I also offer virtual consults. So if you guys need my help, give the office a call, 732-841-0142, and our scheduling coordinator can help you get set up with an appointment. We also have our online shop. So all the products that I talk about in my videos, those are all in our online shop for you guys to purchase. On our Instagram, Amari Healing Arts is our Instagram, all the products are linked right there in our bio. Also, the online shop is linked, and it's linked in the description box for each video. So you guys can go and check those out. And then we have our online course school, the post-op academy. So all of the things that you would need to know post-op, we are doing online courses for. So things like what kind of massages you need, when you need to get them, who to get them from, how to find a therapist like me, all of that we have online courses for. There are going to be more courses coming out all the time. So check in on that to see what's new and what you guys can learn. If you like my videos, all of those courses are exclusive content. All those videos are exclusive content. None of them are on YouTube. They're all in our courses. So that is amarihealingarts.teachable.com. The link for that is also in the description box, and it is also linked in our bio on Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Ashley with Amare. I will see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, it's Ashley with Amare. Hello. So today we're going to talk about when can you stop wearing your garment. So before we talk about that, um, we need to talk about why you're wearing it to begin with. A garment is a soft cast. It's meant to fit your body like a soft cast. It's not meant to cut into you. It's not meant to squeeze you. It's not meant to dig into you. That's a garment that doesn't fit right. That's a whole nother topic. If you guys need help with your garment, schedule a virtual with me or come into the office in New Jersey. Um, 732-841-0142. We're going to skip that whole part because I'm trying to keep this video short. So a garment is a soft cast. When you break your arm, and the bone is broken. They put a cast on it. That cast stays the same size. We don't shrink and tighten that cast to try and squeeze the bone to get it to heal. The cast stays the same size the whole six to eight weeks. Then you go in for your follow-up. They take the cast off. They do an x-ray. If the bone is still broken, they put that cast back on. They don't just throw you into a sling with a broken arm. They put the cast back on and they give you another, you know, however many weeks, six to eight weeks, let's say, and they check it again. And then it's healed. The cast comes off you're done. You go to physical therapy. Your garments are the same way. Your garment is a container for your tissue to heal in after surgery. Let's take the example of liposuction. Let's say you had lipo all the way around your body, right? You get a garment that covers the whole area. Red flag number one, if you have this done up here and your garment's not covering it, that's a red flag. It's the wrong garment. It's not going to work. And you're always going to have swelling there. Sidebar, just saying. Um, but your garment is meant to hold your tissue while it's healing. Your healing is going to take six to eight weeks, right? Wrong. Totally wrong. There is no time stamp on your healing. This is where everybody gets it wrong with how long you should be wearing your garment. Some surgeons will say, oh yeah, take it off after two weeks. Some will say, all right, at six to eight weeks, we're wearing it 12 hours a day. You need to be in that garment as long as you have swelling and fibrosis and pain and soreness, you are still healing. Do not take that thing off 24 seven. Do not take it off. Your body is still healing. Taking it off after two weeks, you are going to swell like crazy. There are four phases of wound healing. Number one is homeostasis. That's when your body is bleeding, trying to like stop and get a hold of the injury, right? And get a handle on it. Number two is inflammation. That's when swelling starts to come in, usually in week one to week two. Swelling starts to come in. Sometimes you continue to swell into week three. Then there's proliferation, which is happening around month two to like four, six, right? Somewhere between there, which is where all of the proteins in your swelling are starting to make new tissue. Swelling is healing juices. I say it all the time. Swelling is not just water. Water is the vehicle by which the proteins move through your body. That's what makes swelling. Those proteins are collagens, elastins, myofibrins, fibrinogens, all the things that it takes to make new tissue is in your swelling. So, Swelling is healing juices. We need that, but what we don't need is excess swelling. We don't need the insane amount of swelling where it's really painful and won't go away because then it sits and it stagnates and it becomes fibrotic and lumpy and bumpy and hard and starts to make new tissue. And if we leave that up until the six month mark unchecked, it starts to become permanent. So 
Garments are meant to close the space and be a container while your body's healing so that swelling doesn't go crazy in there and fill up because your body doesn't know that we did this on purpose. Your body thinks it got attacked by a bear and all of a sudden you're missing all this tissue. And now it's like, oh no, we can't have a hole. We got to fill this with swelling because we need to make the new tissue. We need to put the tissue back where it belongs. Right. Your body doesn't know that we took this tissue out on purpose. So we use the garment to close that space where the fat was taken out so that your body doesn't try to make it into new tissue. So that swelling doesn't fill that space. So we have baseline of tissue, right? All this fat here that got taken out that is now swelling in the area and your skin. And then your garment, which is supposed to be up against your skin. Your garment is meant to close that space where the fat was taken out, right? This little space where swelling is. Your garment's meant to hold your skin and tissue to minimize that space. So it holds and contains your swelling. Your garment is a container to contain your swelling. Your garment does not get rid of swelling. It closes that space to contain the swelling. What gets rid of swelling is manual lymphatic drainage massages. If you are getting those massages and you're not seeing a reduction in your swelling, then those massages you're getting might not actually be real MLD. Real true MLD should look like this. It's a gentle skin pumping motion. We're just moving the skin just like that. I'm not digging in. I'm not rubbing or squishing. It's a gentle skin movement. I'm just placing my hand on the skin and moving it and gently pumping it to get the swelling to go back into the body to be reabsorbed and you pee it out. That's how it works. Your garment is not moving your skin. Your garment will not do that. If you have the MRA lipo foams, which you can purchase in our post-op shop, which is the link is in the bio on our Instagram and we'll put it in the description box. But if you have those foams specifically, not all foam is created equal. Memory foam will not do this. Neither will sponge. And what you're getting on Amazon is the memory foam and the sponge. That's not meant to move your skin and pump your lymphatic system. Our foams are. They are meant to cause this like tiny little pumping movement in your garment all the time so your body's constantly getting that stimulation and constantly reabsorbing swelling and activating along with your manual lymphatic drainage massages which do like overnight get rid of a lot of your swelling like just from that first to second session you will see a huge reduction in your swelling if you're getting the right kind of massage if you are getting lymph drainage or post-op massage and it's not going down and your swelling's not really like seeing a huge reduction That's why, because it's not real manual lymphatic drainage. If you need help with that, let's say you are three months out, still in a garment, and you're like, when the heck can I stop wearing this thing? But you're still swollen, you're still fibrotic, you're still in pain, you're getting hard, lumpy, bumpy. You need to get the course that I have. It is post-op lymphatic massage and finding a therapist because the massages you're getting are not working. The massages are supposed to reduce your swelling so your garment feels loose. That's the point. You're supposed to be shrinking in your garment. The garment's not getting big. You're getting loose. You're getting smaller. You're shrinking. That's the point, right? Is we want that swelling to go down, which means we then need to tighten the garment to keep up with that swelling. One of the ways that we do that to moderate the compression is the MRA lipo foams because they help with that gap in between your skin and the garment, making sure it stays closed so that your body doesn't fill with swelling and try to make new tissue again. Because if it sees a space, it's going to be like, oh, we got to fill this space. Your garment's supposed to close that space. So if you're still having swelling and fibrosis, and you go wearing your garment only 12 hours a day, you're going to be stuck with that rebounding thing where you wear the garment, you feel great, you take it off, you swell, and you feel terrible. And then you wear the garment, and you feel great, you take it off, you swell, and you feel terrible. Why is that happening? Because all the garment is doing is holding your swelling back. The minute you take it off, your swelling expands back into that space because you're not actually moving it out of the body because garments don't do that. They're not designed to do that. So making sure that you're getting the right massages, you can get that course. The link is in our bio um, as well as at amarepostopshop.com. You can purchase the course there to find a therapist 
to help you, as well as for you to understand how these massages work, the exact sequence they're supposed to be done in, how the lymph nodes are stimulated, how the swelling goes back into your body, all these different things. So you need to know all of that to make sure you're getting the right massage, because if you don't know any of that, you won't know if the massages you're getting are even working. But if you are three months out, six months out, eight months out, still wearing a garment, and you still have swelling, and you're still having that rebound effect, chances are those massages weren't the real thing or working or you didn't do them or you didn't go to somebody who was actually like fully certified and knows how to do them properly. But your garment is not meant for that. Your garment is just meant to contain you. Your massages are meant to reduce you. The MRA lipo foams are meant to reduce you, but your garment is just a container. So how long should you be wearing your garment for? For as long as you have swelling and fibrosis 24-7. The goal is not to be trapped in your garment forever. The goal is to keep wearing it, get your massages, and have that swelling come down so you don't need the garment and foams anymore. You absolutely need it while you're going through those first two phases of wound healing. That homeostasis where your body is trying to catch up to the wound, right? And control it. And then the inflammation phase. And then proliferation, which is where your body starts actually making it into tissue and you're healing. So once that's happening, your body isn't going to re-swell in a sense. The swelling happened from the injury, from the surgery itself. The swelling just expands in that space. It's not like you gain you know, more swelling unless you have some sort of incident where you have more swelling. It's just that you keep compressing it and then letting it go. Compressing it and letting it go. So you're seeing that rebounding effect. So making sure that you're taking care of your body post-op and wearing your garment 24-7 within those first few weeks is so important. Do not mess around with your garment because then you'll be wearing it forever. And I know you see the My Journey videos, the YouTube videos where people are like, oh, eight months, I'm still in my garment. Six months, I'm still in my garment. Guys, you shouldn't need it. You break your arm. You get a cast. It heals. The cast comes off. You get lipo. Your body starts healing. You get the swelling down, you no longer need a garment and foams. So let's say you're looking into getting lipo and you're like, okay, well, I want to, you know, know what the quickest way to get out of this thing is to start your aftercare and get your massages because the quicker we get that swelling down, the quicker you're out of your garment. You don't need it anymore. The only reason you'd need it is to contain swelling and fibrosis and tissue healing and all of that. You're definitely going to need it for six to eight weeks, but anything past that is because your body still has swelling that's still stuck in there that hasn't been reabsorbed and may not be reabsorbed. And like I say all the time, good news is it's not going anywhere. We can still get it out. Bad news is it's not going anywhere. We still got to get it out. You still have to do those things. And I know... Everybody wants to be snatched. You guys are squeezing yourself into the tightest thing humanly possible, trying to compress all of that swelling. And yes, you may look really, really small, but you're not going to feel too great. Your skin's going to be hard. You're going to be tight. You're going to have those lumpy bumpies. You're still going to have some swelling. It's never really fully going to go down or heal because you're not doing the healing things because you think you can just squeeze the daylights out of yourself and that's going to get rid of your swelling. It's not how garments work. If that was the case, clients with lymphedema, which is a chronic swelling condition, would never have swelling ever again because they are wearing garments 24-7 to support their tissue and keep the swelling out of that limb because it's a container. It's containing their tissue. It's containing that area that doesn't have any lymph nodes to keep it from filling up with swelling. But they would never have a swelling problem ever again if that was the case. We could just squeeze them into the tightest garment possible and they'd never have swelling. Tighter is not better when it comes to garments, especially with fibrosis. So if you are, you know, three months out and you've been squeezing yourself so tight with that garment and then you take it off and you blow up, that's why. So making sure that you're not doing that is one of those things that's going to help you get out of the garment faster. Making sure you're actually addressing your swelling is another thing that's going to help you get out of it faster. And making sure that you're diligent with it and wearing it the way you're supposed to be. Now, one of the last things I'm going to say, <laughs> you could be wearing your garment 24-7. If that garment doesn't fit right, 
it's not going to work. You're going to be wearing garments for a really long time if it's not containing your tissue properly, if that container doesn't fit. So if you have a garment, right, and you can pinch the fabric and pull it like this, it's not containing. Garments have an actual rating to them. And this is why I don't agree with fajas because faja just means girdle in Spanish. Faja is not a medical grade compression garment with a class attached to it. There are three classes of compression, one, two, and three. So 10 to 20, 20 to 30, and 30 to 40. What that measures is the amount of pressure that the garment delivers to your skin and to your tissue. So it's 20 to 30 mmHg. So millimeters mm of mercury pressure. Hg is mercury on the periodic table of elements. Little science fact. Um, I love the periodic table. I have one in my bathroom. I read it while I'm brushing my teeth because I'm a nerd. Um, <laughs> little side note about me. Um, but it's mercury grade compression. So what that means is the amount of pressure that it's delivering to your body. Here's the problem with that. When you break your arm, it doesn't shrink. The cast stays the same size. When you get liposuction, your body is meant to shrink in size because we took that tissue out, right? We want it to reduce. So your garments are supposed to be reducing with your tissue. You want to have the same level of compression your entire recovery, the same amount of pressure your entire recovery. Just like when you break your arm, that cast stays the same size and the same shape and the same pressure. You want your body to be getting the same amount of containment and pressure your entire recovery. Here's where that becomes challenging. New baseline of tissue, swelling, skin, garment. As we reduce you, the swelling starts to come down, which means your skin starts to come down and the skin and your body pulls away from the garment. We usually have three rows of hooks. We move them over. We tighten the hooks, but we're not tightening the hooks to squeeze the living daylights out of you. We're tightening the hooks to keep the same level of compression the entire recovery. So when you go to your doctor's office, you will get your preliminary garment, the one that you wear for the first couple days. And that garment's generally really stretchy. Um, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're pretty good, but a lot of times they're really, really stretchy. So that's meant for the inflammation phase because you're gonna blow up, right? So we don't want cutting off of circulation in your body. We don't want necrosis. We don't want to cut off any blood vessels or anything like that for the tissue to die. So they generally give you something that's a little more stretchy so that when your body does expand, it's not being cut into by the garment. It's being held. And that's all well and good. But once you get into week two and week three, you need an actual compression garment, like a medical grade compression garment, something that is not spandex, something that doesn't do this. I can grab the fabric and pull. That shouldn't be the garment that you're in long term up until that like six to eight week mark, because what's going to happen is your body is going to keep swelling and that garment is going to keep stretching. We don't want anything that feels like Spanx in that first two months. That's not what we want. And I know a lot of times you'll see your surgeon for a follow up and they'll say, oh, yeah, you can get into a Spanx now, but you're still really swollen. And you get into the Spanx and you're like, all right, this feels OK. But I'm still swollen and you don't swell up anymore because you're past the inflammation phase. But now you're in proliferation where your body's going to take whatever swelling is left in there and turn it into tissue. And that's where the problem comes in, because not only do you not have any containment anymore, your body's now taking whatever's there that's left, that's not being contained and turning it into tissue. This is why I will never, never agree with Spanx ever for recovery. I will never agree with elastic compression garments ever for recovery because if you leave that swelling in there and you don't contain it, you can continue to swell and it can get worse or it's going to start to harden and become fibrotic or it's going to start to become new tissue. The goal is not to squeeze the swelling. That's not going to help it get back into your body any faster. The goal is to be doing manual lymphatic drainage with someone who's certified that knows what they're doing, which you now have access to the course. You guys can go and purchase it and find that person. But to be doing that and adjusting your garment to keep up with how fast your body is shrinking. So to wrap this all up in a pretty little bow, 
When can we stop wearing our compression garments? When we no longer have any swelling or fibrosis left. Your garment is meant to be a soft cast. It is a container for your body to heal in. It is meant to contain your swelling. So as long as you have swelling and fibrosis, you need to be in a garment and foams. 24-7. End statement. If you are tired of being in your garment and foams and you've been in it for a really long time, then you need to make sure you are getting proper manual lymphatic drainage massages. If you are getting massages and this is still happening, the massages you're getting might not be the real thing. Go get the course so that you know what massages you're supposed to get, you know who to get them from, you know when to get them, you know what they're supposed to be like and why they work to get down your swelling. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to keep this video really short. I think I did a good job. We're at 19 minutes. Um, if you need help with your garment, and this sounds like you, everything I mentioned, you're like, oh my God, this makes sense, but I still need help. Call the office. If you are not in New Jersey, you can set up a virtual with me, 732-841-0142. If you are in New Jersey, you can come in to see me in Highland Park or Elizabeth. Um, same office number to call to set up an appointment, 732-841-0142. If you need Amare Lipo Foams to start stimulating your skin, getting rid of your fibrosis, helping this, the hardness turn back to softness, that is amarepostopshop.com. The link is in our bio on our Instagram. It's also going to be in the description box of this video. To purchase your course, it is also at amarepostopshop.com. And I think that pretty much covers it for today, guys. So, Ashley with Amare, I will see you all very soon. Please do not take your garment off. If you still have swelling and fibrosis, keep that thing on 24-7. And then go get your massages and start taking care of your body. That is the answer to the question. I will see you guys very soon. Oh, and yeah, just to reiterate real quick. You don't need to be wearing that thing for six to eight months. You absolutely do not. If you're getting proper manual lymphatic drainage massages, it's not necessary to be wearing it that long if you are healed and have no more swelling. Just saying. One last time. Okay, guys. Ashley with Amare. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys soon. You know where to find me if you need me. Bye.